Hey everybody, how you doing today? It's Marla. Hopefully everyone is doing well. Quick introduction to this video. The videos you're about to see were filmed on three separate days. They are on three new products. I received a lot of new products the beginning of 2019 and I'm trying to get these videos up in a timely manner for the companies. So I decided instead of putting the videos out separately, I would do three short little videos, splice them together into one and that's what you're going to see right now. And the three new products were from companies that I really love, Ofra, First Aid Beauty, and Laura Mercier. So let's get started with the three new products and I hope you like them as much as I do. Under eye area. That is an area that bothers a lot of people. I know a lot of people have puffiness under their eyes and are looking for things that can kind of target this area. I was recently sent this product from First Aid Beauty for my review. It is their Fab Skin Lab Retinol Eye Cream. I put Retin-A on my face and I alternate sometimes with serums, sometimes with retinol and when I saw that First Aid Beauty had a retinol eye cream I got a little intrigued. I am a big fan of First Aid Beauty products. I specifically asked them to send this to me. I know a lot of people are also fans of First Aid Beauty. This is their retinol eye cream. It has triple hyaluronic acid. It has a skin saver complex and what they say about it is is it's potent yet gentle enough to rejuvenate the eye area. It helps combat the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles while it leaves the eyes looking smoother, firmer, and more youthful. It says there are some immediate results. You should see the skin in the under eye area should feel hydrated. It should help blur your imperfections. 91% of the people in clinical studies said they saw their eyes appear firmer and brighter with fewer visible wrinkles after after 10 days of use. We're gonna put that to the test. Okay, I am going to start today with this. I am going to start using this. I'll let you know if I feel anything immediately with it, and then I'll let you know how I feel after using it for 10 days. Let's get started with this little test. This is allergy tested and fragrance free. It says that there were 34 participants that did this study and uh, responded with those results. I'm going to apply the retinol eye cream to my eye. This contains micro encapsulated retinol and that is supposed to help stimulate your natural collagen production and also promote cellular turnover which should minimize the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. A lot of times retinol can be irritating but this is a very unique micro encapsulated formula and what it does is deliver the retinol over time and that makes it safer to use around the eye area. One great thing about this product is it is cruelty-free. I am always looking for cruelty-free products. Some of the ingredients besides the micro-encapsulated retinol are a triple weight hyaluronic acid, which is going to boost, plump, and smooth the skin. It contains micro-pearls that have light reflecting properties that make the skin look more radiant and luminous. And it has what's called a skin saver complex. It is a blend of hyaluronic acid, antioxidant vitamin C and E, aloe, colloidal oatmeal, elantinin, and ceramides, all of which calm and soothe the skin. It's been about 12 days since I started putting this retinol eye cream and I'll tell you a few things that I've noticed. Now it's hard on my eyes because I am somebody that's already been using Retin-A for a couple of years. I'm somebody that already uses retinol under my eyes. So I don't think you're gonna see a drastic difference under my eye area because I've already been using <laughs> retinol retinols and retin-A. Someone maybe that hasn't been using any retinol or retin-A under their eyes may notice a greater difference after using this for you know the 10 or the 12 day period. However, what I have noticed about using this is I really like this eye cream because it is really emollient without being greasy. I'm always looking for really good eye creams that really hydrate this area under my eye. As soon as you add hydration to that area, 
area, I just feel it makes the eye area automatically look younger. It kind of smooths out those wrinkles. So as a cream that I would like putting under my makeup, I think this is a great eye cream. It doesn't burn my eyes at all. It feels so soothing under my eyes. You know, I have a lot of really emollient eye creams, but I really like this one. And I like the fact that it has both retinol and hyaluronic acid in it. I'm not usually big on a lot of eye cream purchases, but I probably would purchase this myself. It is from First Aid Beauty and I love First Aid Beauty products. And this one is just super emollient. It goes right into your skin after you put it on. I don't feel like it's laying on top of my skin. And I think anytime I can put any extra retinol around my eye area to kind of smooth out those lines and wrinkles is a big plus. I like this. Now, this one of the things I did receive was from one of my favorite companies and it is Ofra. And I think I'm a little late receiving this kit because I think this was probably very popular over the holidays. Let me just say for transparency purposes, this Staycation Trio was sent to me from Ofra Cosmetics for my review. In this little trio kit is one of Ofra's long-lasting liquid lipsticks. It's a beautiful metallic berry shade. Also, one of their most popular highlighters, Pillow Talk, which I absolutely love. And then finally, Ofra's Micro Makeup Fixer. This is their setting mist that should keep your makeup on for up to 12 hours. It is called their Stay vacation winter heat wave trio and what they say is home for the holidays and ready to hit the party circuit your glam will be ready to snap in this shining trio for the perfect holiday sleigh it's 2019 we are past the holidays but i'm hoping that they still sell this trio because it is such a good trio and i'm wearing it right now one is their mini pillow talk highlighter i think you can see me putting that on in the demonstration. The highlighter is more of a soft pink pearl shade. It really is supposed to be more for fair to light skin tones. However, even me with a darker medium olive skin tone, I really like Pillow Talk myself. I think almost anybody can use Pillow Talk. You just have to be a little bit more light-handed when you use it on kind of my darker olive complexion. You can put it on your cheekbones. You can highlight the inner corner of your eye with it, your nose, above your lips. You can do your shoulders. You can do your collarbone. You can do any of that with Pillow Talk and highlight it and make it just look like you have a beautiful glow. The other product in here is one of their long lasting lipsticks and I really like these lipsticks. They're their metallic lipsticks and this is a metallic berry. I'm wearing it right now. These lipsticks are super pigmented. They go on so beautifully, really adhere to your lips and they stay on for so many hours. I love Ofra's long wearing lipsticks. They're probably some of my favorite lipsticks and these metallic ones that they offer are very comfortable. I feel comfortable wearing this out during the day even after the holidays. I don't think it's that shiny in your face. There's no glitter in it. It just has a little bit more of a metallic look. And the final thing in here is their makeup fixer. That's really their setting spray, hydrating spray. The spray has vitamin E in it, aloe vera, and I think it's pronounced chamomile Camilla flower extract. It's supposed to keep your makeup looking good for up to 12 hours. I really like the setting spray also. I just liked everything in this kit. I thought the kit was so cute and compact. And what is great about this kit is the size of the lipstick, the size of the highlighter, maybe not so much the size of the setting spray, but the size of these two things, you know, it would take me a year to go through those. So those are actually a perfect size. This would have been such a great stocking stuffer if I would have gotten it earlier. I'm hoping they're still selling it because it's a great way to try one of their metallic long-lasting lipsticks along with one of their most popular highlighters and also their makeup fixer upper spray. I will, as usual, leave a promo code for Ofra because they are so nice to give anyone that does a review on their products that promo code. I will put that down in the description box in case anybody wants to order off their website. 
I wanted to test out a product that was sent to me. This was sent to me from Laura Mercier. It is their Flawless Skin Infusion de Rose Moisturizing Glow Mask. I tried another rose mask from them that was a clay mask that I believe was also from this Infusion de Rose line. Really like that. And today, <laughs> I really need this glow mask because I was testing out some cleansers and I don't know if you can tell but my skin is super dry I had a reaction to one of the cleansers last year in 2018 I received several products from Laura Mercier and I really fell in love with the company I thought today would be a good day especially with the way my skin is right now to test out this glow mask my skin feels so tight what this glow mask is is it is a mask that is rose infused that should instantly melt into the skin visibly renewing the skin's natural healthy glow with an immediate boost of moisture. It says it's ideal for all skin types. I really love all the packaging they have for this kind of infusion de rose line because it has kind of a pinkish or rose color look to it and it's in this kind of super metallic looking container. I really love the way these are packaged. Let's open this up put this on my face. We're going to see if this can give me a little bit of a glow and help moisturize and hydrate my skin. It says to apply a generous amount to your face. Let it stay on for 10 minutes and then just tissue off any of the residual product that may be on your face. This product is infused with hyaluronic acid, a French sage extract. It's also infused with rose water, which is very soothing for the skin, and a bioactive amino acid complex. All those ingredients together are supposed to help soothe the skin, hydrate the skin, make the skin brighter looking, and give it a natural glow. This should give my skin a boost of moisture after I let it on for the 10 minutes. And I'm actually going to put this a little bit on my neck today because my skin is so dry from another product I use that really I had a reaction to. So hopefully this will help. I'm going to let this on my face for at least 10 minutes and soak in. Then I'll be back and let you see what my face looks like and how it feels. Okay, the Laura Mercier Flawless Skin Infusion Day Rose Glow Mask has been sitting on my face now for about 15 minutes. My skin just sucked this in because it was so dry. It needed it really desperately. But as you can see, I really don't have, I really don't have much product on my face to tissue off. I'm just gonna do a couple dabs here. I believe Laura Mercier also makes an Infusion de Rose oil. I would love to try that out, but they say that you can put that oil on then after this mask. This really did a beautiful job of hydrating my skin. It feels really soft. I probably would put this on at night before I would go to bed, let it soak in all night long, and then wake up the next morning and then wash my face. I have gotten so many great products from Laura Mercier. Love the packaging on this line. It's the Infusion de Rose Glow Mask. I will leave all the information for this product down in the description box in case anybody wants to check it out on their website. Take care, everyone. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye from Marla.